welcome back to the garden. Today we're continuing the spring garden tour. If you've missed episode one, go check it out. You would have missed the meadow reveal that we planted earlier this year and we had some wonderful snowdrops and scary and of course the daffodils which have lasted weeks. Picking that mix with all the different varieties meant we had weeks and weeks and weeks of color. It was absolutely wonderful. I really wanted to create something a little bit wild looking in the garden that felt like there were always daffodils there. And I think it turned out really nicely. So I do want to keep adding to that meadow over the years and especially things like daffodils, for example. And I was really pleased with the ones that I planted in the metal containers over near our shed because they were actually recycles from the previous years. I just make sure to snip off the dead blooms and then leave the foliage to die off naturally and it's their second year coming back and they bloom pretty nicely. So I'll also pop these in the meadow and just make it grow over time. So at the end of March, we still had lovely color from the meadow and I wanted to prepare a fun grouping of plants, a fun centerpiece for Easter. So I went, of course, to the garden center and picked up some lovely plants, some pansies, some bulbs, a little saxifraga. I reused some old cookware and I just love the look of them. Of course, these were designed for Easter, so I added a little rabbit there, but you could, you know, remove that or not use it and I would still be a lovely arrangement to make for spring. It's mid-April right now, so most of the daffodils are finished, but we of course still have a lot of tulips, both early and late, which we are enjoying right now. And I'm really pleased about that little shelf. It was absolutely brimming this color. And I love that we can set bulbs in some smaller containers because it makes it extremely versatile and perfect for gardens of any size, really. I really love the spring meadow this year, but also that massive tub full of tulips. I think I must have planted between 200 and 250 tulips there. The first to bloom were this gorgeous purple prince tulip with that really deep and rich color. They bloomed very nicely and for you know quite a while too because they were in a part shade area which really helps with preserving the blooms. And I'm really excited because this year I can see buds on my parrot tulips. And I never do, I never do. I've tried to plant them for several years now and for some reason, I don't know if I get a bad batch or there's user error, but I never, never got anything out of them. And this year, that tub is full, full of buds. So fingers crossed they bloom. Just at bud stage, they are so interesting to look at with all the curvy edges and the beautiful detail. I cannot wait. And we can see also so many other blooms coming to life in that tub, so I cannot wait for the succession blooms to kick can. And you might notice, I'm not sure that you could tell, but I did manage to get to the terrace. For us, that was one of those really massive cleanup jobs that we wanted to carry out. So I emptied the entire terrace, moved out all the Christmas trees and the lovely container grouping that we had there over the holidays and just got to cleaning. And actually, my number one recommendation, if you do have to get a power wash tool like that, just get the most powerful one you can get your hands on because it took me way too long to finish this rather like a medium to small area because we didn't get something that was powerful enough. So highly recommend sizing up if you can. And then it was time to replace everything we add for the winter time with a beautiful spring grouping. And this is where my three containers of this beautiful Tulipa Van Eyck came in very handy. 
they're still blooming there's still a little bit of color but now right now they're getting tired because they're in full sun so that's something else if you're preparing containers make sure you keep them in a part shade area they'll bloom for way longer and generally everything is looking so lovely including these really cute quebec tulips i love how they turned out actually a few of them have several blooms per stem this one has four blooms that's a really lovely way also to multiply the blooming interest. Our border is also full of new growth. I just spotted some gem blooms and also some geraniums. We have the kales that I planted over winter that are flowering. I didn't harvest much from them, but right now I don't want to pull them out because of that beautiful pop of yellow that they're bringing. And the first perennial to bloom in the flower bed is this beautiful Erin Geron. I pruned it back earlier this winter and it's already flushing with new growth. It's actually a really good time of year to start a new border. So if you had that on your to-do list, spring is go time. This is what I did last year in our border. We started from scratch. The area was pretty sad looking. We had some roses that were really lonely, some pieces of slate on a filling wind membrane and it had to be taken care of. So about this time last year, we did a three part series and makeover where we sowed some seeds, we cleaned off the area, dug it over, added some compost and planted it. And a really good trick there is to use plug plants. So small perennials that have been grown on that are much cheaper to buy, especially if you need, you know, a few plants of each type. Something else that requires your attention at this time of year is of course already preparing the new season. So it's time to start sowing some seeds. I need to do that for my cosmos and also pot on some dahlias. Those are the two main jobs to carry out in spring so that you will have wonderful blooms come summer. For my dahlias, I actually kept a part of them in the flower bed and I hope they survived. I think they must have because we didn't get freezing temperatures over winter. So we'll see how they do. And the ones that I had in containers, I lifted and stored in my garage, which this year is frost free. So the tubers overwintered really nicely. They had lots of new growth and I potted them on in about two to three liters containers in some compost. And we can see that they're growing on really nicely. I hope you enjoyed this garden tour and this spring update. And don't forget to tune in again to see the rest of the wonderful tulips we're waiting on. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, you might have noticed that the video schedule has been a little bit different lately and I don't think I'll be able to keep doing one video a week for you guys. It takes a lot of time to film and edit. I'll try to upload regularly also over spring and summer, but if I don't, just make sure you click on the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video and I'll let you know on Instagram when I'm ready to post. Thanks again for watching and for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.